Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a chocolate and date tort. Um, it's really, really simple, but it's divine. So let's go. First, we're going to take six egg whites and we're going to whisk those or whip those with a pinch of salt until soft peaks form. Now that our egg whites have formed soft peaks, we need to add three quarters of a cup of caster sugar gradually. So just bang a little bit in and start that back up. We're just going to add the sugar until it all dissolves and the whole thing becomes thick and glossy. minutes maybe a good four or five minutes so we've got a bit of a pavlovery meringue kind of consistency just make sure you preheat the oven to 170 degrees um, just got to make sure that that is up to temperature before the cake goes in so now we've got our meringue base what we're going to add is 250 grams of finely chopped dark chocolate the better the chocolate the better the cake. So don't skimp on the quality of the chocolate. That's really important. So bang in your chocolate and 200 grams of finely chopped blanched almonds. So they're going in too. And 200 grams of pitted chopped dates. There. and a tablespoon of brandy okay. and we just need to fold that together really really gently until it's all combined all right i think we've got it all folded in so we've got a large spring form tin that we've lined in foil amount of mixture you go it's going to be quite lumpy the um, the almonds the chocolate and the dates are quite chunky there's nothing smooth about this but you'll see in the end it's worth it don't skimp on the size of your tin don't use a 20 centimeter one because it's going to be way too small all right, so we're going to pop our tort into the oven for about 45 minutes. It should come out golden brown and slightly firm. I'll show you when it's done what we're aiming for. So we're going to bang it in the oven and I'll see you in 45. So we're back. 45 minutes on the knocker and our chocolate and date tort is cooked to perfection. It's a beautiful light golden colour and it's firm. Pop it in the fridge overnight or for about four to six hours until it firms up. Um, it will become a little bit sticky, but that's okay. So I will see you back here tomorrow when it's done its thing and it'll be ready to serve. So fingers crossed and I'll see you then. chocolate and date tort has been in the fridge overnight. Um, it hasn't sunk this time, but often they do. If it does, don't worry. Ah. Turning it upside down gives us a really nice flat even surface to decorate. I found one of these weird as paper doilies. I've never used them for anything, but I think we're gonna have a crack today. I thought what we could do is take a little bit of 
cocoa. Just dust the top lightly with that. Put that on there. Take some icing sugar and maybe, hopefully, we're going to have a pattern, a weird doily pattern. Um, all right, here we go. Okay, we've had a go. Could have been better, but I'm sure it'll taste fine. It's crispy and a little bit sticky on the top. So you'll find that it does crumble just a tad, but all of the almonds and the dates and the chocolate chunks in there all come together in that meringue base to make a beautiful chocolate and almond and date torte. So trust me on this one, it'll become a family favorite. Enjoy. Okay, so now we're going to fold in our 250 grams of finely chopped. Sorry. Bound to happen. Um. Oh yeah, that's delicious. <laughs> 